Hi all, this is Alessandro from Sonora Cinematic and the music you're listening to comes from Aria Vocalscapes, our brand new sample library. Aria Vocalscapes features vocals by talented soprano Emma May Price, who also happens to be my wife. And just like Aria Libera, it delivers on the more textural side of cinematic and ambient music. In this video I want to show you some of my favorite sounds from ARIA Vocalscapes, but since this is our first library to feature our brand new ARIA engine, you also want to learn more about that on sonorasinematic.com. I'll put a link in the description down below. Let's get started! For Vocalscape we capture several articulations that me and Emma thought would work very well with their range. The one that started it all was the vowel HA, uh, which I think sounds particularly beautiful when paired with the humming sound. Let's choose humming on layer A and HA's on layer B. In the R engine, if both the fade switches are on, then the X axis controls the crossfade between the two layers. We can get a very nice variation on this sound by simply turning the fade switch off on layer A. In this way the humming articulation is always playing, while the house gets stacked on top of it when moving the cursor across the x-axis. Let's play with this a bit more. Uh, what I'm about to show you is actually one of my favorite things that we recorded. Articulations that are followed by the word impro are free one note improvisations that are not tempo synced. Let's pick this one. These are really special as they naturally evolve uh, to create beautiful soundscapes. I think these are particularly nice if you play chords with them as notes sort of naturally clash against each other and they tend to overlap in very cool ways. You have two variations on those, the one that you just heard, which is normal, I guess, and then sparse, which has less notes, which tends to uh, last longer. Another interesting group of articulations that we included feature several shushing and whispering sounds. This can be used to great effect in a track. Let's use those as an excuse to explore some of the possibilities that the motion controller included in the ARIA engine offers. I like this snapshot, but let's say that I want the shh sound to come and go. First of all, let's put layer B in fade-in mode. Now, I could obviously go into filters and LFOs and assign the layer B LFO to volume, but there's a more interesting way to do this. We hit record and draw something on the XY pad. I'm mostly interested in the movement on the x-axis as this is where the crossfading happens. Now let's press play. And if I want I can also halve or double the playback speed. Mm -hmm. 
The motion controller is also a great way to control any other parameter from the effects section. For example, let's load the delay again, and rather than having it as a set and forget setting, let's use the motion controller to modulate the send level. I'm going to have the Y axis control this. For the next sound, I want to show you the more process side of ARIA Vocalscapes. It's a snapshot called Always So Fragile, and you'll find it under the Clouds folder. Both layers of this snapshot contain some of the experiments that I did uh, running the samples through my modular synthesizer. And now I want to change things up a bit and take full advantage of the ARIA engine. Check this out. If we go in the filters and LFO section, uh, we see that the filter is active for both layers. Let's open it all up for layer A and instead let's assign it to the X axis on the XY pad. I am also going to use the layer B offset feature to transpose the sound on layer B by a major second. I want to make a very quick note to say that even without going under the hood in contact, you'll be able to hear what is the actual range uh, that we sample and what is instead pitch shifted. We deliberately decided to map the entire range of the keyboard with samples, uh, simply because of the more textural and hybrid nature of the library. And I'm very happy with the choice because that means that you can get some really rich sounding and cool basses out of it. In the sounds menu, uh, you'll find articulations with weird names like Tiki and Takata, sometimes with the word whisper next to them. These are all tempo-synced articulations. 
The sounds are all synced as eight notes for the tiki and taka and as triplets for the tiki ti and takata. And they work great uh, when used as alternative and original rhythmic elements for your music. The whispered alternative of those are a personal favorite of mine, especially when paired with the regular versions. Let's try that, adding some delay and reverb while assigning some effects and filter parameters to the XY pad. You have probably heard lots of those in the track that I wrote for the preview trailer that we released a few days ago. We recorded and edited all the samples. I re recorded some of them to cassette using my modified portrait studio and a couple of other decks just for fun, really. <laughs> I fell absolutely in love with this weird Mellotron vibe and at the very last minute I decided to include some of these samples in the library. You find most of those under the cassette manipulations folder in the snapshots or in the articulation selection menu of course. <laughs> What you just heard used saturated tape humming on layer A and slow tape in layer B, but there are a few more that are well worth exploring, so make sure you try them out. The last thing that I want to show you is the included step sequencer for the filter. It's a great addition to add some movement to an otherwise pretty static sound. I'm going to add it to the B layer. Uh, to activate it, click this symbol on the cutoff control and adjust the step sequencer as you prefer. It can be synced to the host tempo and you can change the number of steps and the rate. The interesting thing is that you can even combine it with the XY pad assignment and with the LFO and create rather complex modulation curves this way. There are so many things I didn't show you and that we didn't explore. There are the shepherd tones. All the distortion possibilities the integration of the brand new native instruments effects like Raum So if you want to know more, make sure that you watch the full walkthrough of the ARIA engine, I'm going to link it down below. ARIA Vocalscapes is available right now at sonorasinematic.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.